Randy, you talk a ton about heaven, afterlife, the new earth, uh, eternal perspective is the name of your ministry, and a lot of your books have helped a lot of people. I heard you say something recently. You said you don't need a bucket list. <laughs> I just thought <laughs> that was such a great statement. Would you unpack that? Why don't Christians need bucket lists now? Yeah, well, what's what's the idea behind a bucket list? It's to get to do something that we will no longer be able to do once we die. Mm. Well, for most Christians, the thought behind that is that we won't be real human people living on a real made for humans earth uh, ever. You, you go through life once. Well, actually you go through life on earth twice and the second time lasts forever. It's the new earth, the present bodies uh, are our old bodies that are going to be made new. We're promised that. And we're told that our bodies will be like Christ. What was Christ's body like? Well, he said, touch me, handle me. Uh, I am not a ghost. A ghost does not have flesh and bones as I have. So we will have flesh and bones. It, our bodies will be like his. We're told that. Okay, well, where will we live in a flesh and bone body? Well, if we just go up and drift around in an angelic realm of disembodied spirits, um, then of course you wouldn't be able to do any of those things on your bucket list in the world to come. You wouldn't do anything you really want to do beyond singing and maybe a certain amount of heart playing that after a few <laughs> hundred thousand years might get a little boring. You know, And so we have this really inhuman concept of, of, of heaven. But the Bible teaches new earth, just as our old bodies will be made new, the old earth will be made new. And we will eat and drink and we'll do all these great things that we do in this life. And Jesus modeled it when he's walking around with them, eating and drinking mm. and talking with them. And why was he around in his resurrection body for 40 days? You know, I think part of it was just to show us how this is what, we're going to be like, and this is how we're going to live. So the bucket list to me is like, we're creating it because this is our one shot. And also there's the new Jerusalem, there's the new earth itself, but there's also this new city, the new Jerusalem. Well, then doesn't that mean there will be other new places? Will there be a new Lake Louise, a new Lake uh. Victoria, a, a new Mount Kilimanjaro, mm. um, a, a, a new uh, Phoenix, a new Portland, Oregon, a new, you <laughs> name it, I anything and everything. Why not? And so many of the places, I mean, Nancy and I would talk about, we have friends that uh, we stay with uh, over in Maui and she do you think there'll be a new Maui? And I go, I, I think there probably will be. But whether there is or not, it will be a world where we will be able to do things and write books and read and talk and serve and uh, do all kinds of, play sports, all kinds of stuff. So you don't have to, this bucket list, I mean, the only thing on a bucket list that for sure we would know uh, we wouldn't be able to do in the world to come would be anything involving sin, which hopefully is not on your bucket list. <laughs> well said.